Hello and welcome everybody, this is Cyborg Peak here and welcome to the pen. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do steel wool photography. Just so you guys know, here are some examples of steel wool photography. Now that you saw those examples, let me show you how to do it. In order to do some steel wool photography, you're going to need some household things that you and me at my location I'm going to show you guys how to how to do it how to get started get prepared and how to get the finished product so let's show you okay so I'm here at the beach the sun's about to go down and I'm going to show you guys how to do steel wool photography first you're going to need a whisk any old metal whisk, you don't want a rubber whisk because it's going to catch on fire. You're going to want a lanyard that is connected to it. And that's where you give it the swinging motion. And then you're going to need your steel wool. Your steel wool. <laughs> and then you want to just mush it. Mush it. You want to stretch it out some. Once, once you stretch it out to a good length, you want to just shove it in there. Once it's in, you're going to need the lighter. You're going to want to light the steel wool and then just swing. But before you do all that, you want to have, you want to set your camera to a uh, picture, a uh, 10 to 15 second exposure. And you want it to be pretty dark outside because if it's lit, your picture is just going to be white. <laughs> Now that you guys know how to do it, let's show you it in real time, slow motion. And yeah, you guys will like it. I will like it. Let's show you guys. Now just a fair warning before you do steel wool photography out in nature. Remember, you guys are playing with fire, so be careful. And I wouldn't advise you guys doing it on grass or anything. So try to find something like sand, dirt, rocks, gravel. Something that won't catch on fire. Because <laughs> I do not want any calls from the police department. And you guys don't want a forest fire. So, hope you guys like it. Make sure you tune in for the next one, and I'll catch you later.